Hello and welcome to the Magic IFX install walkthrough where I'm going to show you how to install the software from start to finish. So first things first, you should have a slip card um, like this one. This is a little mock-up for the video, but you'll have an actual code just here that you need to keep safe um, for the next step. And then if you head on over to this link here and download the installer, and then we can begin. So I've already downloaded that and I'm just going to double click to run it. The Windows user account control message may pop up um, asking you if you wish to continue. Just click yes to proceed. Now once open, it's going to check just to make sure that there's no previous install of the software, which there isn't. So we have a new um, installation on our hands here. So let's click continue and let's register our details. Now these are the minimum fields um, that are required. Um, of course, it's always helpful to have your details. Um, however, you're not obliged to put in your phone number or anything. So just the minimum fields will do and then click submit. Here's where you'll need your license code. Um, so if you just type it in to the field here, and then you'll also need to accept the terms in order to proceed. Um, now just before I continue, um, I'd like to just mention, um, it's worth just making sure you've got all the characters right here and there aren't any mistakes in the code. Um, I'll give you an example of what may happen if there's an extra space or character, incorrect character or something um, in the code, you'll come up with an error. So just double check, make sure all is right and then click submit. And once the license has been accepted, it will begin downloading the software package, which is about 4.5 gigabytes in size. So depending on the speed of your internet, uh, this could, um, could take a few minutes. At this stage, you may notice uh, the icons appear here on the desktop. So that's the installer's job done. Uh, now we're going to need to run the software just to complete the install. So we'll do that by going over to the desktop shortcut and double clicking to open the software. On the initial run, you'll notice the video play. And then we just need to click to play to complete the install and the software will relaunch and it'll open into the home screen view uh, which is the main UI uh, which we're going to um, explain in a series of short videos to follow. <laughs> 